Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today with a very exciting video for you guys. So sometime around midweek last week, I placed an order to both BH Cosmetics and Sephora. My order to Sephora was for the Alchemist palette, and then I also ordered myself the Electric palette from Urban Decay. And then I went on Instagram and noticed that BH Cosmetics had released two different highlighting palettes, both of which I ordered and I'm very excited about. But the main palette I want to focus on is this baby right here. I know right now before anyone clocks my ass for this that this this video is going to make me out to be such a shady looking bitch because of the two videos I posted about the Kat Von D drama. And this video includes another product that is a dupe for another one of her products. At least in my opinion, there are a few dupes in the BH Cosmetics palette. Before we get started, I want you guys to know that I will have everything linked that you're going to see in this video down below. Alright, so as you guys probably all know, this is the Alchemist palette from Kat Von D Cosmetics. This retails for $32 on the Sephora website and obviously in store at Sephora's everywhere. Unfortunately, Kat Von D is exclusive to Sephora only, so you cannot find this product anywhere else. The palette itself, the packaging is outstandingly beautiful. It's a holographic iridescent look. I absolutely love it. It comes with a little small mirror and then also four different highlighters. So I was very, very excited to see that BH Cosmetics came out with their own version of that palette. Well, it's not their version of that palette, obviously. It's a very different palette. But they came out with their own version of like the same concept as far as highlighters. So in this video, I'm going to swatch every single shade in this palette. And then I'm also going to show you guys the dupes that I found in this palette for the Alchemist palette. I'm going to be doing both finger swatches and brush swatches to make things fair so you guys can see what they look like with both methods. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on whether or not I really think you guys need this palette or not. So this is the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlight 6 Color Palette. This retails for $17 on the BH Cosmetics website, which I will have linked down below. I will have swatches of everything on my Instagram for you guys in case you're interested. So you have six different highlighters in this palette. You have this one right here in Electra, Laser, Queen, Drobe, on point and illusion. So we're gonna go ahead and start the swatching process. I'm not gonna talk through this. I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch each of these shades on my arm. And I'll the BH Cosmetics highlighters. These seem to be a little on the chunky side, but the more pigmented highlighters usually are. I'm really not worried about the chunkiness because it blends right out to a beautiful natural sheen. Well, as natural as you can get with a purple, blue, green, yellow highlighter on your cheeks, I guess. But overall, you can see just how beautiful these highlighters are and how beautifully pigmented they are. They don't feel dry at all. This is without any primer, any foundation, anything on my arm. This is just straight up swatches. So now on the other arm, I'm going to do a few of the brush swatches. To save some time, I'm only going to do maybe three brush swatches. So I'm going to take my Royal and Langnickel Highlight and Glow Brush. I'm going to pick up the shade Queen right here. And we'll put Queen right there. So you can see how beautiful these go on when you use them with a brush. Pigmented with finger and with a brush. I'm also going to go into the shade Illusion right here. That one is a beautiful, almost like purpley blue color. And then we're also going to go into Strobe. Those are the three highlighters swatched with a brush. 
Once again, no primer, nothing is on my hand. It's my bare skin. Look how beautiful those highlighters go on. I'm fairly certain I mentioned the price to you guys, but just in case I did not, these retail for $17 a piece and you can find them on BH Cosmetics' website. All right, so now we're gonna go into the Alchemist palette. Now, just in case you have not seen these shades swatched, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just go through these swatches Alright, so I don't know if you guys can really tell, but these are very, very dry and very chunky. But this is just a comparison of both palettes. You can see those there. Are you guys seeing any dupes? I am. Alright, so now we're going to go into the dupes. So the first one I'm going to swatch is the green emerald shade right here. I'm going to first do finger swatches and then I'll go into the brush swatches afterwards. We're going to put it right there. So that is the initial swatch. Let's blend it in a little bit. So that looks like, like that. And now we're gonna go into the BH Cosmetics palette and pick up the shade Laser. There it is in the finger. There's first swatch. And then we blend it in a little bit. And you can definitely see right there, that is a dupe. So now for brush swatches, we'll go back into that green with my same highlighting brush. We'll put the first one right there. That is from the Kat Von D palette. And then we'll go back into the BH palette, into laser. Put that one right next door. Do you guys see how similar they are? How very, very close they are to being dupes? I'll go one more time in with that BH Cosmetics palette to really bring out that green. You can see right there, those are spot on. Are they not? Alrighty, so now we're going to go into the blue sapphire shade in the Kat Von D palette. Once more with the finger swatch. Put it right down there. Blend it in just a little bit. And now we're going to go into the BH palette into the shade Queen. So there's that. Initial swatch. Blend her in. And that is that. And now for brush swatches. So we'll pick up blue sapphire from Kat Von D first. We'll put her on this side. We'll pick up Queen from BH, put her over here. Look how reflective those are. We'll go on one more time with that BH shade just to bring out more of that blue. Once again, a very, very spot on dupe. I'm gonna try to dupe the purple shade using Illusion on the very bottom side right here. But I've tried these two before and they really didn't seem that close, but just to humor you guys a little bit, I'll go ahead and go in with the purple shade on my finger, put it on the skin, and then we're going to go into Illusion, because I see the purple reflex in it, so I assumed it would be a little bit purple, but, uh, oh, that actually looks very, very close. So that's another dupe, holy crap. Do you guys see that? And then lastly, we'll go in with the brush swatch. Kat Von D first. Put her right there. Dip in one more time to bring out the purple. Now let's go into Illusion. So what do you guys think? Is that a dupe or is it not? I think it looks very, very close. Now unfortunately, I could not find a dupe for the pink opal shade in the BH Cosmetics palette. I really, really hoped and thought that Stroh would be the perfect dupe for it, but it is in fact not a dupe at all. This is just a pure white highlight. I'll go ahead and put that one right here. As you can see, there's no shifts to it whatsoever. It's just a very blinding white, very, very bright highlight. But overall, three out of the four shades were duped with this BH Cosmetics palette. So let's go to my final thoughts now. Overall, I am a makeup collector. I'm a makeup artist. I am a makeup enthusiast. I love everything about makeup, as my collection clearly states. I love collecting very, very unique pieces, and Kat Von D's, just in the packaging, is definitely unique. Like I said in the beginning, this video is going to make me into a very shady bitch. We're coming forward with more dupes for more of her products in her line. But I am somebody who is all about making sure that I try to bring you guys the truth about everything. And I'm going to tell you why I really don't think this palette is worth the $32 price tag it has on it. So let's forget about the packaging, because anybody could do this, let's be honest. 
honest. This is a $32 product with only four different shades inside of it. Yes, I already bought it and I don't regret it because like I said at the beginning, I love Kat Von D. I've said it before. I love her products. I think her cosmetic line is outstandingly beautiful and I mean no disrespect to her at all personally, but to charge $32 for only four very small pans, that just seems to be a little ridiculous. You know what I mean? And I mean, these are tiny and the fact that they couldn't have like put in one more here or one more there or one more in the middle, they could have made this a triangular highlighting palette that would have been so cool to see but instead they took up all that room with only four of these highlighters and honestly I, I wish there was more in it to make it worth the money. I would rather tell you guys to go spend your money on this product because you get more for your money just because you don't get a lot in this palette. Now of course that is something that you guys can all decide on your own. It's your money. You guys earned it. You can spend it how you'd like. I bought both of them because I wanted to bring you guys this video knowing they looked really really close to each other but again I also really like Kat Von D's product. But do I think it's worth investing $32 in? Mm, not for this product. This costs $17 and look at the size of the pans in comparison to cats. Like, I'm sorry, that is incredibly pitiful. I absolutely love how creamy these were. They really weren't as chunky as cats were. I'm not sure why cats were very, very chunky, but they exceeded the chunkiness of these. These were creamier. You get more for your money. And for $17, for almost exact dupes of these same shades that are in this $32 palette, I would definitely say this is more worth your money than this thing is. Like I said earlier, I mean, no disrespect to Kat or her cosmetic line. I just really do think this palette is kind of a ripoff for only having four different small pans as opposed to this thing that is just as good if not a tiny bit better in quality for only $17. All right guys so to send you guys off the right way I'm going to use both a highlighter from the BH Cosmetics palette and the Alchemist palette on my face but I think I want to go in with the Illusion shade and then also in with the Purple Amethyst shade from the Kat Von D palette. So first I'm going to go in with the Illusion shade. And now let's go into the Kat Von D Amethyst shade. So there is the Kat Von D side. And then the BH Cosmetics. As you can see, they look very, very, very close, almost exact dupes. So like I said, guys, save your money, spend 17 on this palette, and call it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.